Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So in this video, we're gonna be going through Act 7.2.2, all right? Second quest of Act 7.2. And I've already looked over the paths and I've chosen the path that I consider to be the easy path, okay? And you're gonna see in a moment which path I selected and the uh, nodes here. So it is the ebb and flow intercept, okay? Now, I love seeing the aggressive because that'll make it easier to intercept. But a little note about what's the easiest path. It's going to depend on your roster and your skills, okay? You do not wanna just blindly follow what someone says the easiest path is. There's another path here that is also uh, quite easy um, I think it's Power Shield and uh, Life Transfer. So take a look at that path as well, and it might be easier for you than this one. However, since I have Ghost, uh, I decided to go into this path. Now, the reason that Ghost does really great on this is if you attack fast enough, it counts as an intercept. So it'll take down the protection. Look at this, fight's almost over. Half health, one special, so far, okay? And you, you got the protection, boom, it's gone, okay? Now, I got caught, I sometimes get caught with uh, his special one, it happens. He's got me in a corner, I don't care about that, and he's done. Ghost handles this beautifully. Now, um, I believe Mole Man also uh, can do a, a good job. Uh, on this path. You see that I brought him as well. However, if you know how to intercept, then that path is not going to be difficult for you at all. That's pretty much what you have to worry about. Intercept, take down the protection, go to town. So if you have champions like Ghost or Mole Man, someone who uh, makes it easy to intercept, then use it and that'll be a very easy path for you. Otherwise, look at the other paths, see which one might suit you better. Now, of course I brought in Hercules, so I gotta use him. Now here, I don't have Ghost to, you know, get that easy intercept, I gotta intercept him. Okay, boom, got the intercept. Protection down. Look at the damage, look at that damage. Love it. Um, because of the ebb, you know, ebb and flow uh, intercept here, I get a nice beefy fury. You don't wanna give Hercules more damage, but they did. See, look at that, got the intercept, got that big boy fury, boom. Skadooshie, lovely, lovely. All right, now you can see here that you can use pretty much any champion that you want if you are good at intercepting. So that's why I consider this path at least one of the easiest paths. Uh, the life transfer is also quite easy, so that might be more your cup of tea. Or look at some of the other paths and see which one uh, looks the easiest for you. But in this video, I of course select the path that I consider the easiest based on my roster and my skill set. Okay, so down he goes. I haven't had a chance to use Hercules a lot in uh, questing, so every chance I do have a chance to use him, I wanna use him. Uh, he is one of my favorites right now to use, and you can see why. Uh, ramping him up is quite easy and simple, and it's nice because the intercept, like you just saw me do there, uh, gives him a feat and it helps him get ramped up and he's going to just keep hitting harder and harder Okay, so right now I have the two that I'm really aiming for uh, Feats that I get in this one that will persist in the uh, next one. Okay, just look at that beautiful and Of course, it's not a, a difficult defender and I wanted to go to town more but I didn't want to push him to a special three. Okay, so here we go, boom. 
It's lovely, lovely. Because they are aggressive, it's much easier to land those intercepts. Okay, do like a one, one, two hit combo, back off, go back in. Chances are they're going to follow you and you're going to be able to get the intercept. All right, so that's uh, basically what you're going to be seeing. Now, I wanted to give you a little behind the scenes. So this is the second time I was going in to this, um, this quest. I had a lot of revives and health potions expiring. And if you watch the previous video, I basically had all of those still doing this one because I didn't end up using any revives on that one. And I think I used one health potion, all right? So I'm trying to hurry up. So I, I hit the record and I go in thinking, okay, I'm gonna um, do a little bit and then I'll use up some of the revives or, or health potions as needed. Right as I started, my sister sends me a message uh, concerning my mom. My mama, she sometimes does things that are quite dangerous to herself now that she is no longer a young woman. And my sister was sending me a message telling me to stop my mom from uh, doing something. She was going to try to take uh, this uh, glass dish when she knows she does not have good balance and can easily fall with it. So... That, of course, distracted me. Uh, I ended up dying. And uh, I was like, you know what? Let me just restart. So I went out, got the dish, um, brought it myself to where she wanted it, and um, then came back to do this so that I, d I wasn't distracted or anything like that. All right? So you can see we're doing good so far. All right? Uh, Airwalker, I was worried that he was going to hit me with a special three because sometimes that happens. The AI just doesn't want to fire their special. But we got him down and Hercules is looking beefy. You might've thought that I was gonna use Ghost all the way through because she's great for this path, but I got a Hercules. So uh, I, I, I love using him. He is so much fun. Boom, look at that. Hit, got the infuriate up as if I needed it. And we're just rocking them. Now I need to knock them down. Boom. And I'm good. That's it. That's all I needed. Um, now I still need to keep intercepting him. Boom. To get the uh, protection off. But because of their aggressiveness and because of the infuriate, it's really good. Do you see some of the crits he's doing? Crazy. Look at this, man. Insane. Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. Normally this fight would be a really annoying fight because of that tenacity and all of that. Mm -mm. Look at that, intercepting like a boss. So you can see why I consider this path to be quite easy. But again, you have to be comfortable with intercepts. And you can do it with pretty much anybody. Okay. Yeah. Flex them pecs. So we're almost done with the path. All right. Now, this is, I believe, the last one on this path. I believe so. And what's annoying about Champion is he could go unstoppable and all of that mess. It's really annoying. But the hood is a great counter for him. Now, I could have used Hercules again. I could have used Ghost. But let's give the hood a chance, okay? Because when I intercept, I'm gonna get that big boy Fury, okay? And just look at this. I'm staggering him like crazy. He don't want none of this hood, all right? Boom, still getting the intercepts. Lovely. Bait ceiling. Did you see the crits? That's some nasty crits right there. All right, and as you can see, look at this. Look at that damage. Folks sleep on the hood. I took my hood up. Um, I don't think I took him to rank three though, but I took him before 
he was buffed. And I like him a lot more now that he is buffed. Now, one of the reasons I did before was because, of course, I always used Ghost, and Hood was a great synergy uh, partner for Ghost. But as you can see, Hood is a good one in and of himself. Now, we come to the boss. And as with all the others, you can select a character. Now, I said, you know what? I know. I'm going to bring in Archangel. Didn't even use Mole Man, which I could have. But I'm going to bring in Archangel uh, because Archangel will do very well against Tigra on this node because of the heavy assault on the node. Archangel can rip it up. However, there's another champion that people sleep on that I don't hear people talking about. They, 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 they don't even want to mention this champion, but we're going to see it today. Sleep on her if you wanna enter Wasp. Don't sleep on Wasp. Y'all forgot about Wasp. See, I see folks mentioning Archangel and all of that as options. What about Wasp? Hopefully you see that Wasp is quite viable for that boss. Yeah, that's what I thought. Anyway, that's gonna do it guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.